Meghan Markle played Rachel Zane in the popular legal drama, Suits, long before her relationship with Prince Harry became public knowledge. However, when their love story became a headline material, Buckingham Palace and court officials reportedly came up with multiple rules that regulated what could be written into the show's script. Tom Bauer's book, Revenge, Meghan, Harry and the War Between the Windsors, gives us a glimpse into the couple's private life, and reports that it was gleaned via conversations with 80 individuals who were personally acquainted with Harry and Meghan. In his book, Bauer shares, fearing the worst, from bitter experience, the palace stepped in to control Meghan's life. Aaron Korsh was told to submit all future suit scripts to Nick Collins, Meghan's agent. According to him, scripts were thereafter forwarded to Kensington Palace for approval. Orders for changes of words were sent back from London to Los Angeles. It is alleged that the most significant rule applied to Meghan's final scene at her wedding to Mike on the show. The palace commanded that there would be no photographs taken of Meghan donning a wedding dress, and she was required to sport a jacket over the dress when not filming. The suit's scriptwriters took creative liberties with Zane's final words as before she said, tongue-in-cheek, the suit's scriptwriters took a license with Zane's final words before she says, I do. This reportedly drastically transformed the atmosphere around the studio. Despite airing its last episode in 2019, Suits made a new streaming record just last year, after being viewed for a whopping total of 57.7 billion minutes on Netflix. This led to the BBC purchasing the rights to the drama in full following its resounding success on the streaming platform. In 2023, Suits creator Aaron Korsh revealed that the palace had weighed in on parts of the show's scripts involving Meghan Markle. However, he noted that their input was minimal. Not many things, by the way but a few things that we wanted to do and couldn't do, and it was a little irritating, the creator said, citing an example where the palace enforced a line change to prevent Meghan from saying poppycock on screen. The royal family did not want her saying the word, he said. They didn't want to put the word poppycock in her mouth. I presume because they didn't want people cutting things together of her saying cock. As a result, the writers replaced poppycock with b asterisk 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 t. However, the Telegraph claimed that these changes were suggested by Meghan's agent, not the palace itself. This story was originally published in July 2022.